kids who need spine surgery sometimes get what's called halo traction in the weeks leading up to surgery. Halo traction helps straighten the spine to correct problems like scoliosis. It uses a metal ring called a halo that attaches to small pins on the head. As a parent, you may wonder how halo traction works and what the hospital's day will be like. During the procedure to place the pins, your child will be given medicine to sleep and not feel any pain. The pins go under the skin and attach to the bone, but do not go through it. The halo is then connected to a pulley system, which is placed on things like wheelchairs, walkers, or beds. Weights on the pulley system slowly move the spine. This is called traction. Over time, the weights are increased to help the spine straighten out. After the pins are placed, it's normal to have a headache or some pain for a few days. The care team will help keep your child comfortable by applying hot or cold packs to the area, giving pain medicine, or changing your child's position when needed. As the spine begins to straighten out, most kids start to feel even better than they did before the procedure. Many parents ask if the halo can come off, but once it's fitted to your child, it cannot come off until treatment ends. Treatment can take several weeks. During this time, your child will stay in the hospital with the halo attached and pulley system connected. At first, sleeping in halo traction can feel a bit awkward. The care team can help your child find the most comfortable position for sleeping. Sometimes, a rolled up towel or small pillow under the head can help. In time, your child will get used to sleeping this way. While in the hospital, your child will have physical therapy several times a day to stay active. Eventually, your child will be up and about most of the day. Kids in traction can do most things themselves, like brushing teeth and eating, but will need help with others, like dressing and bathing. Many hospitals offer pet therapy, art or music therapy, and have activity rooms to help keep kids busy. The care team will give you a detailed packing list for the hospital stay. Make sure to bring clothes that don't need to go over the head and are easy to get on and off. That means button-down or zip-front tops and pants with stretchy or elastic waists. Remember to bring your child's favorite things, like stuffed animals, books, and a tablet and headphones. When you can, set up in-person visits, video chats, and phone calls with loved ones. If your child is in school, ask about joining the classroom virtually or working with a teacher in the hospital. Most importantly, try to talk with other families who've gone through halo traction or are going through it. The care team can connect you with these families. Halo traction can look scary at first, but most kids get used to it pretty quickly. In the meantime, help your child find ways to stay comfortable, busy, and connected. Pretty soon, you and your child will feel ready for surgery day.